What up everyone? I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to change the ESC on the Backfire Galaxy 2 to the Backfire Galaxy G2S ESC. So I have ESC for G2S upgrade with the new upgraded remote and I have my original G2 ESC in here on right now working old remote and yeah, let's do this out real quick. It's like a maybe 10 minute swap over and we'll get working and I'll show you guys how to do it real quick. So I have the Backfire G2 and I'm going to be doing an upgrade to the new ESC for the G2S. This is just a quick how to DIY tutorial on how to get this ESC from the G2S installed on your old Backfire board. New ESC comes with this remote and this dial. It's fully waterproof, fully cabled in. It's really nice. So we're gonna swap it out and show you how to do it. This is the old one. Turn that off. Let me turn this off. Alright. So, first thing we gotta do, take off the old ESC. There's six screws one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna pull those out real quick. It should only take you max 20 minutes if you're not using a drill. If you are using a drill, be sure that you're not using the most powerful setting when you're taking them off. You don't want to strip these screws. So once you have this off, it's going to be a quick just pop up and you have your battery connector. What you're going to do is just connect the battery. That pops off and then you can rotate the ESC over. Once you rotate, you're gonna see two more screws that have to come off because the motors are plugged into the ESC board right here. So, pull these off. So this cover will come right off, four screws. Super simple. And then what you're left right here on this board is you have the motor connector, you have the power button connector, and you have another motor connector that's tucked in back here. And all these are any main board plugs, so they just come right off. So what I do is I usually grab the cables and then just pull off. It comes right off. Super simple. You don't want to grab from here and pull back hard because you'll pull the cables out of this right here. Same with this. I go from underneath, pull out. One more underneath. Let me go from this side. There you go. Pull out. So that gets all the connectors off of the board. So then what you're left with are these. And these are just plug and play. Just pull them out. Cable, cable. <laughs> pull, that's one motor, pull, 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 so that's it, this is your old ESC right here, you don't need anything else, you don't need to transfer anything else because everything else is pre-packaged in the new ESC, you can put that away, and now what you have is your new ESC. The colors are a little bit different, so you have blue, yellow, and green on the old ESC. The new one, you have blue, yellow, and red. So your green wire is going to be your red wire on the new ESC. Simple enough. So whatever you just did, we're going to do the reverse. So this is your antenna for the remote, which we're just going to keep tucked in here. <laughs> so let's start off.
We have two different motors here. Right motor, left motor. And we're just gonna go ahead and plug them in. One at a time. So this just matches to this. That plugs in. And then you have your other motor plug, so we're gonna match the colors again. So I have blue, go up to blue. And you want to make sure it goes all the way in. Make sure you see them really well. So we have yellow. We're going to go to yellow. And make sure it goes all the way in. Make sure you get a good connection. And we have red. We're going to put the red with the green. Red and green. Just out of the way. Red to green. That's it, one side's done. Let's move over to the other side. This goes to this, easy connectors. There's one. Now we have three motor cables. Green is gonna go to red. Blue, going to blue. Make sure you push them in tight, and then we have yellow, going to yellow. That's it. The process is super simple. I mean, you can't get too much confused here. Now what I like to do, before I seal everything up, is just plug it in and make sure I plugged in everything correctly. So, give it a good plug in. So it's in. Let me test to make sure I can power it on. I've got power, we're blinking. Got my new remote. Power that on, and we're linked up already. We're good. Check reverse. Looks like we're good. Simple enough. Super quick procedure. Nothing too difficult. So what we can do is just tuck everything away. Make sure the board fits fine. Lines up okay, so we're good. So I'm just gonna make sure the cables get in here all right. Tuck everything away. Set it back in. Change the power down a little bit. G2S remote and ESC.